Namaste dear children, I am Rekha. Welcome to my channel Rekha's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Class 4 Max Chapter 1 Shapes Around Us Part 1. This is from your new NCRT textbook Math Mela. Diksha wanted to go to a big city during her summer holidays. Look at this picture. You can see a pretty girl. Her name is Diksha. She wanted to go to a big city during her summer holidays. Her father took her to Delhi and they visited many old and interesting monuments like the India Gate, Kutab Minar, Safdarjang Tomb, Akshardham, the National Museum, Jandar Mandar and Sansad Bhavan. Who took her to Delhi? Diksha's father took her to Delhi. They visited many old and interesting monuments. What is a monument? A monument is a special building or landmark that helps us remember the past and the important things that happened. That is a monument. So they visited many monuments like the India Gate, Kutab Minar, Safdarjan Tomb, Akshardham, the National Museum, Jandar Mandar and Sansan Bhavan. Now, she is trying to make a model of India Gate using her wooden blocks. Now, Diksha is trying to make a model of India Gate using what? Using her wooden blocks. Try to make a model of the buildings shown here using blocks. You can see two buildings here using blocks. Try to make a model of these buildings. First one. What parts of the buildings have you shown in your model? For example, roof, pillars, base, etc. What all parts of buildings you have shown in your model? You can write answer like this. I have shown the roof, the walls all around, the pillars, the base at the bottom and the arch of the India gate. I have shown all these things. Next one. Why did you select these parts? I selected these parts because they are the most important and noticeable features of the India Gate. They are the most important features of our India Gate. What shapes will model these parts well? What all shapes you used? Cubes, cylinders, arches, cone, triangle, rectangle. Okay. How is your model similar to the picture of the real building? My model has the same shapes as the pointy top and the tall standing parts as the building in the picture. The shape of my model is similar to the building in the picture. How is it different from the real building? My block building is much smaller and doesn't have all the tiny details the real building has. My block building is very small when compared to the real building. Also, my model lacks all the tiny details present in the real building. See this picture? This is Kutab Minar. I have made something. Look at my Kutab Minar. Do you think it looks like the Kutab Minar? Yes, it looks like the Kutab Minar. What shape would you use if you made a model of the Kutab Minar? Cylinder. Why? Because Kutab Minar is tall and round like a cylinder. How many such shapes will you use? Five cylinders to show five stories. I have used five cylinders. Why? Because there are five stories. 
the kutub minar is a world heritage site and the tallest building made up of bricks it has five stories and 379 stairs earlier people made buildings with clay bricks stone blocks or wood today we also use concrete blocks hollow blocks etc earlier people used clay bricks stone blocks or wood as building materials today we also use concrete blocks hollow blocks etc what is common to all these bricks look at this picture what is common to all of these bricks they have a regular shape often rectangular that are strong enough to be stacked and joined together to construct walls foundations and other parts of buildings they have regular shape they are very strong enough they can be stacked and joined together to construct walls foundations etc make a spear like shape with paper strips you can use some paper strips to make a spear like shape like this diksha has folded opened and flattened a box to see what an open box looks like this is called the net of the box so diksha she has folded open and flattened a box she wanted to see what an open box looks like see this picture this is net of a box if you fold along the dotted lines you will get the box back see if you fold along this dotted line along this line you will get the box back okay that is called a net of a box next we will study about prisms and pyramids have you heard of prisms what is a prism a prism is a three dimensional shape it has two identical parallel ends called bases and flat sides that connect the bases the shape of the base determines the type of prism for example a triangular prism has triangular base see this picture here we can see triangular prism hexagonal prism and square prism first is triangular prism a triangular prism has two identical bases see this is one base this is another base what about their shape they are triangular in shape so it is called a triangular prism the shape of the base determines the type of prism if the shape of base is triangular in shape then it is called a triangular prism also there are some flat sides that connect the bases see some flat sides will connect the bases see this hexagonal prism we have two identical bases they are hexagonal in shape then square prism two identical bases what about their shape square that is why it is called a square prism and the sides connecting the bases are flat they can be rectangles or parallelograms see these sides connecting the bases can be rectangles or parallelograms what shape of face is common to all the prisms rectangle rectangle is common to all the prisms the flat sides connecting the bases are rectangles what other shapes do these prisms have triangle square hexagon in hexagonal prism you can see hexagonal bases then in triangular prism you can see triangular bases in square prism you can see square bases how many such faces each triangular prism you can see two triangles square prism you can see two squares hexagonal prism you can see two hexagons 
Now we will see pyramids. What is a pyramid? A pyramid is also a three-dimensional shape. It has a flat base and triangular sides that meet at a point called apex. So this is also a three-dimensional shape. It has a flat base. See, this is a flat base. Then triangular sides that meet at a point called apex. This is apex. The bottom flat surface of the pyramid is called base. See, this is base. The base can be any polygon like a square, triangle or rectangle. In a triangular pyramid, the base is a triangle. In a pentagonal pyramid, the base is a pentagon. In a square pyramid, the base is a square. Then the faces or the sides of the pyramid are always triangles. See, the sides are always triangles. The point where all the triangular faces come together at the top it is called an apex. One shape of face is common to all the pyramids? Triangle. The sides of the pyramid are always triangles. All the triangular faces meet at dash point, one common point called the apex. Identify any other shape in each of the pyramids, pentagon, square, etc. at the base of the pyramid. Is a cube also a prism? Yes, cube is a special kind of square prism. What is the difference between a prism and a pyramid? Discuss. See this table. Features. Then prism, pyramid. Number of bases. For prism, how many bases are there? Two bases. Two identical parallel bases. For pyramid, how many bases are there? Only one base. See, this is a pyramid here, only one base. Then, for prism, how many bases? Two identical bases. Base shapes, two identical and parallel polygons. Here, one polygon. See, in the case of square prism, what about the base shapes? Square. Then, in the case of square pyramid also, the base is square. Then what about other faces for a prism? Flat sides. Parallelograms often rectangles connecting the two bases. Then what about other faces in a pyramid? Flat sides. Triangles that meet at a single point called apex. Then what about the top? Top of a prism has a second base identical to the bottom. Then Pyramid, what about top comes to a point called apex. So, these are the main differences between a prism and a pyramid. Now, try to make the above shapes using straws and thread and fill in the table. First one, cube, square prism. You can make a cube or a square prism like this using straws and threads. Then count the number of faces, number of corners and number of edges. How many faces are there? For a cube, how many faces are there? There are six faces. Then there are eight corners and twelve edges. Next one, cupoid or rectangular prism. How many faces are there? Six faces. Corners 8, edges 12. Then, what about triangular pyramid? How many faces are there? 4 faces. Then, number of corners 4. Then, number of edges 6. For square pyramid, number of faces 5, number of corners 5, number of edges 8. Triangular prism, number of faces 5. Number of corners, 6. Number of edges, 9. 
identify any relationship that you may find between the number of faces, edges and corners. Calculate F plus V minus E in each case. F is the number of faces, V number of corners or vertices, E number of edges. What do you notice? So you have to find F plus V minus E for all the rows in the previous table. I will give you an example. See, the case of cube, F is 6, V is 8, E is 12. Therefore, F plus V minus E is equal to 6 plus 8 minus 12 is 2. This is true for all the rows. So, in each case, F plus V minus E is equal to 2. That is a relationship. Sort 3D shapes by the number of flat faces. Write their names here. Number of faces, name of the shape. See, number of faces, one flat face. Can you name a 3D shape with one flat face? Code. Code, it has one flat face and one curved face. Name a 3D shape with uh, two flat faces. Cylinder. A cylinder has two flat faces and a curved face. Then name a 3D shape with the four flat faces, triangular pyramid. Then five flat faces, square pyramid. Six flat faces, cube or cuboid. Then eight flat faces, octagonal prism. Can you construct a 3D shape with the three flat faces? No, we need at least four flat faces to construct a closed 3D shape. See, for example, triangular pyramid, we need four flat faces. Now, sort 3D shapes by the number of straight edges. Write their names here. Number of edges, name of the shape. Number of edges, six straight edges. What is the name of the shape with the six straight edges? Triangular pyramid. See, one, two, three, then four. 5, 6. 6 straight edges. Triangular pyramid. Then 8 straight edges. Square pyramid. See. 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 straight edges. Similarly, 9 straight edges. Triangular prism. 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 12 straight edges, cube or cuboid. We have 12 straight edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, then 9, 10, 11, 12. Children, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see in the next video. The last part of this chapter will be uploaded soon. Thank you.